SpaceX's Starship program is a bold venture into the great unknown. Not only does this program promise to revolutionize the space industry, but it's also bound to push boundaries in space travel. However, what you don't hear every day is the hefty price tag this ambitious dream comes with. Stay tuned as we tell you why the Starship orbital flight is not a kid's joke. While SpaceX started about two decades ago, the Starship program is just a decade old. All we can say is that it's no easy feat. This spacecraft has been Musk's source of pride since its inception, and he's still forthcoming with even more ambitious plans for the Starship program. As good as that sounds, the program is quite a tough one. It has been responsible for the excruciating torturing of hair on the heads of SpaceX workers responsible for it. Just to walk through this project's backfiring prediction deadlines will tell you something about its difficulty. Elon Musk sometimes gets ahead of himself by announcing something about Starship's launch. Very recently, he tweeted, We have a real shot at late February. March launch attempt appears highly likely. Unfortunately, that is not what's going to happen and we know it. Elon Musk and his SpaceX team still have tons of problems to grapple with before the Starship sets foot in low Earth's orbit. To this end, even when these problems are done away with, Elon Musk still admits that there's a 50% chance that the Starship mission will be successful. 50% success is still a good percentage for something as big as the Starship. Therefore, difficulties are worth going through. So what are the difficulties holding back the Starship? First and foremost, the mega size of the spacecraft. The Starship as it stands is the largest, tallest, and in all aspects best aircraft on the planet, beating NASA's iconic Saturn V. Saturn V was a legend during its time, and still is. We're thankful that it landed the first man on the moon, but guess what? It has a new conglomerate. The Starship can stand shoulder to shoulder with the tallest skyscrapers at 390 feet. The size is exciting, and on the same note, a major difficulty. This is why, holding all other challenges of having a rocket constant, SpaceX added just another one to its plate. The ambitious space company is planning to achieve vertical landing. This is still quite a new thing in the space industry. It is achievable, however, with the spaceship as big as the Starship, facing a major hurdle on this part is inevitable. Rockets typically have a different mode of flight compared to earthbound aircraft. The most obvious one is that airplanes take off using a runway, while a rocket does take off vertically. The reason behind having such a major difference in takeoffs is the height at which these different aircraft are to reach. And two, you realize that a good amount of space is another issue that's involved. With the big size of rockets, a vertical takeoff is preferable. If we agree so, then a vertical landing is worth the try. Unfortunately, it's easier said than done. Elon Musk has had it rough in trying to achieve this difficult feat with this test trial flight. We promise, it's a sad side view. Only history can give us a better narration of what happened to SpaceX's previous test flight spacecraft. From a total of five test flights, SpaceX had four crashes. Very dismal ones, I dare say. Only one flight was successful and of course, with some challenges here and there. It's a common thing for a rocket to fail on its first flight but having four consecutive ones comes with a heavy price tag. Although we are talking about Elon Musk, the second richest man alive, money is money at the end of the day. If the Starship ends up crashing on the first flight, we'll be counting serious losses. The estimated cost of running the Starship program is upwards of $2 billion. This is excluding the operational expenses such as maintenance, fuel, and personnel costs. The cost of launching a single Starship dangles somewhere between $2 to $10 million. The cost of maintaining a fleet of these could even be much higher and could potentially lead to bankruptcy. However, SpaceX is relentless in making the vertical landing a reality, paving the way for the success of the Mars mission. But wait a minute, there's another challenge SpaceX has to deal with. This one, they brought upon themselves, making reusable rockets. The idea of making reusable rockets is a hot topic in the space industry. Guess who brought it? Elon Musk. This tech billionaire had the goal of making rockets that can achieve a full trip and still be used several times over. Looking at the terrain of Mars or just the LEO, this ambition might have remained a dream for most people. You see, whenever a rocket is launched into space, it has to deal with the strain that comes when it is leaving or entering the Earth's atmosphere. 
Designing a rocket that will be resilient to withstand this amount of stress for decades of leaving and re-entering the Earth's surface requires more than a genius craft. Admitting to the difficulty, Elon Musk said it'll probably take us a couple of years to achieve full and rapid reusability. And yes, it must take some time. Developing a new body that would be reused several times over, while at the same time maintaining a lightweight requires not just time, but endless amounts of work and finances. To this end, SpaceX has developed a stainless steel alloy for the Starship, with some confidence that it will work considering the results of the previous test flights. Once that's done, Elon Musk must develop a reliable rocket propulsion technology. Again, this is another important aspect of the Starship program that will determine a lot about the success of its flight. A rocket like Starship requires an engine with greater efficiency and reliability to thrust it out of the Earth's surface. SpaceX has something interesting cooking behind the scenes and this is going to impress to say the least. They are currently working on the Raptor engine which will use liquid oxygen and cryogenic methane as propellants. With space explorations, this is one of the most innovative yet difficult elements of the program. Elon Musk boasted about this Raptor engine saying that it will offer 2.5 times the thrust of Saturn V. Unfortunately, with much power, more fuel is required. Sad to say that this fuel is quite rare and needs to be available in tons. The amount required to fuel the Starship one way is 4,600 tons of methane gas to lift 150 tons of payload. This insane amount of fuel cannot be filled on the rocket at once, meaning several refueling stations need to be set up at different points in space. Well, that means that another fleet of rockets must be sent, leading to more transport maintenance, and launching costs. Unless there's another way of doing it, this is going to be a big challenge. Nevertheless, the space venture is worthwhile. When this venture succeeds, it will be a breakthrough not only for space, the space industry, and several other industries will benefit. But until then, let the pursuit continue. That marks the end of this video. In your opinion, considering the difficulties of the Starship program, do you think it's worthwhile? Share with us in the comments below. On that note, I'll end this video here. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you with the next one.